हेलो गाइस माय सेल्फ अमृता वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल टेक्नो सीज सो इन दी टॉप इंटरव्यू 150 क्वेश्चन सीरीज टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम नंबर 141 दैट इज लिंक लिस्ट साइकिल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम गिवन हेड द हेड ऑफ अ लिंक लिस्ट डिटरमिन इफ द लिंक लिस्ट हैज अ साइकिल इन इट सो बेसिकली वी हैव बीन गिवन द हेड ऑफ द लिंक लिस्ट एंड वी हैव टू चेक whether this लिंक लिस्ट हैज अ साइकिल इन इट return true if there is a cycle otherwise return false so let's understand how we are going to check whether a particular linked list has a cycle in it so to understand this first you should know how linked list works right so what is a linked list linked list is basically a data structure in which elements are not stored in the contiguous locations in linked list each element each element is called node and each element has two part one is the data part so data could be anything integer strings or employee data and it has the pointer to the next node so this is your node one let's say this would be a node two up to so on and each element will have two parts one is the data part and another one is the link to the next node similarly this node will also have data and link to the next node right this is how your singly linked list works right singly linked list so in the example you can see here they have given us a singly linked list and we have to check whether that particular list has a cycle in it so in the example you can see let's see the same element so we have been given the head of the linked list which has elements 3 which is connected to your next data which is 2 then it's 0 and the next one is minus 4 now this minus 4 has the link to this element 2 right that means it has a cycle in it so here you can see there is a cycle in the linked list if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer internally they have given a position which is used to denote the index of the node so here you can see this is your next pointer which is pointing to 2 2 is pointing to 0 0 is pointing to minus 4 and minus 4 is again pointing to 2 instead of pointing to null if let's say it is pointing to null that means there is no cycle in it if that particular element is pointing to the some node in the list then we have to say there is a cycle in it so if there is a cycle in it we need to return true let's take another example so here you can see there is one more example which has only one element that is one and position is minus 1 that means this one is pointing to null so there is no node which can be reached again right so that means there is no cycle in the linked list so we have to return false so now how can we check whether a particular linked list has a cycle in it so for that we have an algorithm that is called hare and tortoise algorithm so this algorithm is particularly used to check the cycle in the linked list so how does this work so basically this algorithm has a pointer approach which is having two pointers one is a slow pointer and another one is a fast pointer slow pointer will move one step at a time and fast pointer will move the twice the speed that means two steps at a time and if somewhere this slow and fast meet at any node that means if slow is equal to fast then that means there is a cycle in the list and if slow is not equal to fast then there is no cycle in the list so let's see here so we have 3 2 0 0 and 4 minus 4 so firstly your slow pointer will be at the zero index and fast pointer will be at the zero index right so now slow will move by one step so slow will reach at 2 but fast will reach at 0 right why because fast is moving by two steps and slow is moving by one step again slow moves by one step slow is here and fast moves by two steps so one step is at minus 4 again minus 4 to 2 right minus 4 to 2 because minus 4 is pointing to 2 so 
so that means fast will reach at 2 right again slow will move to the next pointer slow will reach here and then fast has to move by 2 steps so fast will also reach at minus 4 so now you can see slow and fast both are at the same position so this algorithm says that if slow and fast are at the same position then that means there is a cycle in the list. So if there is a cycle in the list we need to return true otherwise we need to return false. I hope you understood the approach. So now let's write the method for it. So you can see here we have been given a singly linked list and then we have this method which will return true or false. So now let's write the solution. Basically we will have two pointers and both will be of type node which is list node. Here you can see so one pointer would be slow pointer which will be initially at first position which is head list node fast. This also would be initially at head and then we have to write our loop which would be while fast is not equals to null and fast dot next is not equals to null right that means fast is not pointing to null let's say your fast pointer is at node 2 right so it has to move by two steps let's say this is your node 3 and there is no cycle in it that means it is pointing to null right so now fast has to move by two pointers but there is only one node so it moves by one step and then it also moves by one more steps. So there is no node that means fast becomes null right. So if fast becomes null we can break the loop. And one more thing if let's say fast pointer is at your last node. So fast dot next is null that means fast is pointing to null. In that case also we need to break the loop right. So two conditions. If fast itself becomes null or fast is pointing to null in both the cases we need to break the loop right and then we need to move both the pointers fast we have to move by two steps so that means fast dot next dot next it moves by two steps and slow slow has to move by one step and then we need to check our condition if slow is equals to fast that means both the pointers meet at some position in that case that means there is a cycle in it we need to return true else we need to return false. So this is how we need to write this method now let's run the program and see the output. So you can see here it is accepted and runtime is 0 millisecond so you can submit the code. So you can see here it is submitted successfully. So this is how we need to solve this problem. If you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section and also provide your valuable feedback in the comment section and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you guys for watching.